It's air out of the Hawaiian Gardens projects outside of Los Angeles. Here's a young man that Mexico City if it up on the Olympic boxing team. He's sharp. He's approaching his prime. Little hands of steel Morel. He said that after some of his troubles, he's rededicated his. When you're fighting, when you're there. Champion for this. WBC world title. Just scoring from ringside from Las Vegas, Nevada. Ranked the WBC. Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mackey. Currently ranked the WBC number one contender. Please vote. And vote for your opponents. This Mexican Puerto Rican fighter seemed to have if, if uh, Morel to get caught. And he's fought. Keep seeing Eric Mark's head snap back. That's going to give him a. But it is very early in this fight. But I... As for him, because of in and I'm in and against Nick Becko. Mars, Mars want to make him remember. At this level, it's a different ball game. Ooh, heavy punches by. The jab setting up that right hand by Maris, and then uh, some punches afterwards, but the right hand was clearly the one that was important. Not a knock. Bantamweight champ. In the second part of that round, start landing power punches, and he's doing it again. He's hurt. Morrell holding on. He may have been hurt. He was. Morrell now a strategy in the middle of this fight. I don't know if this is a good, and he knows how much this fight means to him, but he stayed stationary. He kept his chin up, and Alan Mars was able to land. Made a fight for us here, and maybe be fortunate right. to land something that right. might hurt Mares, but that's a long shot. Mares using the free hand to his trainer has been two or three for him that he hadn't fought at this level in a while. For real, level now. Thought he would do it. Looping right hand. Uppercut. Right. And if right. Mares would love for this to be a blow, it's his type of fight. What's impressive about what Mares is doing is he's very precise with his work. Work being a very good boxer puncher and a powerful one. And what I like I, that I see, he's not winning those shots, but he's throwing with more power. And look at Mares saying, come on, Morel. Mares, uppercut, right hand, rolling. Oh, sitting on his punches. Mares, sticking. There he lands a, a right uppercut, but it's the left hook of Mares that is much more powerful. Almost ready to go down. And then there's that hook. It was a beautiful left hook and gave Ebner Mares all kind of Hey, he's feeling good. I mean, this guy is the uh, bantamweight champion, the Showtime bantamweight champion. Third round schedule for Abner Mares, considered the favorite in black and white. Eric Morrell, the 36 year old in gold and white. Now, Taking some serious Mares around normal. Mares pinning Morel in the corner. I don't know if any of that's Juan Manuel Lopez for Orlando Salida. Wait, title. Eric Morel. in the combat zone where he needs to get low. Fights him. He's a man. Abdur Mares in black and white. Eric Morrell in we are in the fourth round. Scheduled for 12. There was a little short hook in mode. Now trying something new, becoming a left. He's taking a lot of that. Uh, he's getting where Abdur Mares is wearing him down. I mean, Mares uppercut, double uppercut. Morel trying to shoe shine on the ropes. Not move. Mares, though, it looks like his punches are heavier, Alan, than Tony's with Vic Dart's bag work. And maybe it's funny for this, so that extra as well. There's the 36 year old Morel. That was the question when this fight started. I need comes back 
with a looping right hand. Morell is pressed on the ropes and when out from Morell. There were early, but he's... Ooh, number five, scheduled for 12 for the big WBC Super Bantam. The moving up. This in this fight is the fact that Mares' defense has been good. He has slipped a lot of punches by Morell. And there he goes to the body again. At right hand. Slicker looks as if he's uh, Eric Morell's left. The jab now starting to become more effective. Total power punch. Important for Morell to land something that's coming up. Or held a title eight years. The longest between titles. I know you gentlemen know. Big right hands again. Stop Morell. An absorb. Morell's jab better. It keeps him in. Double left hook. Chopping with the right hand. As we come to the end of the fifth round. Now Morrell trying just far. As you get your two low, your opponent down. So, you know, exhausted. Mark, the loss in face with game. His father is back, sent him to Mexico. Training for beat this guy in 1004. What? He and Morrell in this round are engaging in a really an interesting little firefight. Both men have landed good punches. Mara, they're trying to, to prep, you know, where he's fighting at right now. The point you made earlier, which is a great one, was to slow the fight down. He's done it to extend. And every time he gets boxed, certainly 122 will work. Mares, all the fighters in this weight, Ito Donaire. Mares, but it's Mares using the double jab in early in the round, but then as he pushes, uh, winning the majority of that round, but boy, when these shots like that, uh. yeah, it's possible. Seven Rell, 36 years old, only looking for one more. He's backing uh, Abner Mars up a little bit, but he has to let his hand go, uh, Gus. He just has to, have not seen it yet. Rell, very defensive in this fight. Wagon for Mares Moreno, who of course <laughs> this fight's not over with. Performed very well, and we're seeing Mares perform well. And you know that's a great part to get those big fights. Or if yeah, when it's possible, it's, but in the if in the same umbrella, you should. <laughs> Mares Moreno sounds good. And yet Eric Morel, it's interesting. You would have at this point with those shots. Can. All right, let's bring in Chuck Giappa with this unofficial scorecard. Gus, up to now, I have a shout-out for Abner Mares, which set the pace in the early part of the... At the end of the round one for Mares, I think Morrell recovered from that. This round, I don't think it was enough for him to win the round. Sometimes... And the big... Is that he had... In this fight tonight. Yeah, that overhand goes, punches land. There it is again. Against the ropes, not a good posture for Eric Morrell. And then when Morrell throws it in this fight. Now quickly with a big smile, catches another looping right hand. He's put his punch. This is manager is utterly convinced in the sport. Of course, Mexico as well. Short left. Ooh, right hand. That was the nation. And that uppercut has found a home for uh, Eric Morrell. Yes. He's busted uh, Abner Mar's nose and maybe, you know, cut him in the mouth. Enough. Not so. And that was demonstrated. That looks darn part of my some combination punch cut and it has done a little damage so if that's some big issue in round eight is can he in any way hurt Abner Mari those are some body shots by Abner Mara's and again against the ropes very bad for Eric Morrell hand by Eric Morrell and it seemed like it stopped Adam Wade title and thus far, this fight has belonged to Perez in the black gold. The average in this fight, Morel has averaged 40 punches. Very good tweet. Hasn't that is a very good point. Yeah, hasn't been able to establish it, and now there he is against the ropes again in that terrible posture for him. Maybe that's slow to pretty much count on. He just abandoned it to and uh, Mares is 12 and 2 record. Good when Morel. He feel like he got to land something big rather than trying to set everything up with the jab. Yeah, could be big left hook by Morel. Or hurt 
Morris. And there's the uppercut, which has been his best punch. Although those two jabs were effective. Ooh, Mares is digging to the body. He's catching a lot of that on his arms. I mean, I don't know if they're getting through to the point where it's hard. And then working to both the body and the head. And there's the body work. Now, some of those blocked, as Antonio pointed out, but there's the right hands getting in. And that posture has just not been a good one for Eric Morrell. It hasn't been as effective as you would like. And when you throw that many body punches with somebody... Taking some chances. All in white. And I gave one round to Morrell, the eighth round, but it's problematic. In good and interesting advice from um, Clemente Medina, his trusted and longtime trainer, Abner Mars. Don't open up. You're opening up too much. They don't want him to get wild and open up because you could get hit with something up the middle. Eric Morrell still. That's good corner work. When you're ahead by this much and your corner's telling you the right stuff, that's, that's important. Nice exchange. Was landed some power punch he can then follow up on. He can turn that around here against Eric Morrell. He's not had him down, or he's had him stunned several times. In this fight, so much scorecards. You know that's what we can't win this fight. He had yeah. to land that big shot. He's thrown punches. It's not like he's in a shell defensively. Can't hurt Eric Morrell. Lands a couple shots. He makes hard to, like I said. afterwards Abner Morris kind of lunging with those punches and here's where the right hand comes afterwards Ooh. it's a special episode Miami Marlin the center of and uh, a controversy just started out but Phil was on that uh, championship team and uh, hey what can you say that's real reality TV the reality of this fight in the 11th round scheduled for 12 for the vacant WBC Super Bantamweight title is that Abner Marez is cruising. Morel just landed a solid right hand and another. Yes, uh, Gus, I still have a shutout. Uh, the last, not enough to win the round in my estimate, getting to him, point for that late hit. Uh, Marez was completely in his corner and you want to avoid anything in the last two rounds of the cheap shot. Thank you very much, Chuck. Mara is still working. What I like about what Abner Mares has done this evening is the round in. This young guy's focused. Like I said, they're riding him, man. They go. at 122, and you know he's going to get some. Wow, that was beautiful. Oh, left. Hand. A hard puncher. And, you know, you made the point, Antonio, nice situation. And those power punch, power punches work. Ooh, right hand, left wow. hook by Mares. He says, creating a very nice. This kind of Floyd Patterson esque uh, landing that punch, and then there's the straight right hand. Now, interestingly, see how Morrell countered it. Yeah. For the vacant title, Abner Mares moving up in weight, going for the bigger names, the bigger paydays, taking on a veteran here. And he is shining in his first fight. They, fight. they are fighting at a catch weight of 120 instead of 122. They, you know, they're creating something special in this round, though. Eric Morrell's fighting back. A 36-year-old fighting. This may be a one-sided feat. Yeah, you got to commend him, man. I mean, this may be his last chance at uh, that, that mountaintop. So he's... There it is. Oh. And for Morrell... And it might be for Eric seven years. Also, the Becco, all the low blows. Also, get Dick Darchinian, low blows. And look at him bang it out. He wants to close this show, and Eric Morrell is giving up opposition. Only one fighter, you know, when you look at the Super Six tournament. But after that, you have to look at Abner Mars. Oh, who? Big right hands by Mares, and that may have hurt Morrell. 37 seconds remaining. Morrell fighting off the rope. Mares. Would love to finish off the veteran, but Morrell says nothing doing, youngster. You may beat me, but you won't stop me. I'm not going out early June as well. World champions, toe to toe. And that's 
it. Abner Martin. Best man will win tonight. 